This section is looking at drawing a monopolistically competitive firm in long-run equilibrium. And we can see that the monopolistically competitive firm looks a lot like a monopoly. It's got a downward sloping demand curve, margin revenue curve, um, but it also has some characteristics of a competitive firm as well. So while the monopolistically competitive firm has control over price because price is going to be greater than marginal revenue, um, and while it's still going to follow the optimal output rule where marginal revenue equals marginal cost for our optimal um, level of output that maximizes re uh, profits, there's going to be no profit in the long run for a monopolistically competitive firm because if there's profit, more firms will enter in and that would cause the demand curve and marginal revenue curve to shift to the left. Uh, and if there's a loss, then people would have left the industry and that would cause the demand curve and the marginal revenue curve to shift to the right until we get to this point here where we have a point of tangency between the average total cost curve and the demand curve because it's at that point where at this optimal quantity, our price equals average total cost and we have zero profit. A couple of other things that you might notice on this graph um, that don't become immediately clear is that you have excess capacity. We can produce more and lower our average total costs, but we choose not to because in order to do that, we'd have to lower our price and it would create a loss for the firm. And so we have the ability to produce more at a lower average total cost, but we choose not to and we call that excess capacity. The other thing we can see is deadweight loss. Deadweight loss is the loss in value from the perfectly competitive outcome, which is essentially where marginal cost equals demand. That's where supply equals demand. And so we have this triangular area right in here where um, we have mutually beneficial trades that ought to happen, would happen in perfect competition, but don't with a monopolistically competitive firm. And so then we have deadweight loss as measured in that area of the pink triangle.